What's going on everybody? It's your guy Five Wars Deke here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is another video that has been requested by you good loyal subscribers. Philip Rivers and the Colts taking on Teddy Bridgewater and the Carolina Panthers. Two quarterbacks who have changed teams will be taking over as QB1 for those new teams. This should be a very interesting season. Of course, you've got TB12, Tom Brady going to Tampa Bay. But I think you look at this, Phillip Rivers with the Colts, I mean, we've always known him as a Charger. It's different. Teddy Bridgewater has made his way around the NFL a little bit. I'm glad that he's finally in a spot where I think he can be solid and be the number one quarterback after being a backup for a couple years because you look back at 2014, that guy was a beast. He was getting ready to take over the league, so I'm happy for him. I'm going to get straight into it, man. I'm the Colts because... A lot of my friends are Colts fans. I grew up a little bit in Indiana. Shout out to everybody at Hamlin Southeastern, especially the class of 2014 at Hamlin Southeastern. Y'all are the homies. And look, this is for y'all, because I knew if I wasn't the Colts, y'all have a problem with this. I know it for a fact. I'd be like, why wouldn't the Colts? I took care of you, my brother. I got you. I got you. Real quick, as we get this game started between the Colts and the Panthers, tell me where you guys think Cam Newton is going to end up. A lot of people saying the Patriots. I personally do not think Cam Newton will be a fit for the Patriots. I don't know where he's going to go, to be honest. Maybe Washington, but then again, if he does go there, he probably wouldn't start. Who knows? I, let me know in the comments, where do you think Cam Newton will be playing this upcoming season? But here we go. Carolina and Indianapolis taking on those Indianapolis Colts. Of course, the Panthers have a new head coach. As we take a look at the offensive line of the Colts, uh, Matt Rule is now the man in charge down there in Carolina after Ron Rivera was fired last season. Kind of an interesting firing, but I will say Ron Rivera is a good guy, truly. Really is a good guy. And I know I'm a fan of a rival team, but hey, I respect him. I think the other interesting thing about the Panthers this year is that Luke Keekley is no longer there. He retired. But if you look at the injuries, I think he had concussion after concussion, man. It, it was just, it got to a point where it was incredibly dangerous for him to play football. So I, I completely understand and respect his decision. But my goodness, what a football player he was. Second and five here. We're gonna go to, I don't know who that is, but Rhodes, Juke Juke Juki. Taking it inside the 10. I thought it was um, someone who's not even on the team. I almost said Eric Ebron, knowing full well he's not on the team. That's why I didn't know who it was. I was like, that can't be Ebron. As we see Teddy Bridgewater make his way onto the field, I just want to announce that I had to kick a field goal because I got stuffed a couple of times inside the 10-yard line. So I had to settle for a field goal. I don't even want to show it. That was embarrassing. But we gonna come after you, Teddy. Oh, we left the man wide open. Oh my goodness. First down, Carolina. Thomas with a 26 yard reception. Third and two, if I can get the stop here, I'll be happy because it'll put them in a tough position for sure. And that's a first down inside the 25 to the 23. It's Anderson, the former Jet. End of the first quarter here, it's 3-0 Indianapolis, but the Panthers are driving down the field. All right, third and seven. Got to get a stop here. Watch the screen. Got to come up, get the tackle, and he's out of bounds. You know, their tight end situation is going to be unique, too, without Greg Olson. You got to think about that, too, but we force a field goal here, and that's good news. And the kick is good. We are tied at 3-3. Three, three. That's a horrible oh! throw. Why would I throw that? <laughs> I'm literally staring at the defender, and in my head I said, yeah, don't throw that, and I hit the button anyway. All right, second and five. Watch the run. It's not a run. Pick that off. Pick that off. Yes, sir. Go, go. Go. Oh, he's gone. See you later. Bye. 40. Th oh, what the heck? Come on, bruh. Teddy Bridgewater thought he had it. That's a pick six, baby. Let's go. 
Extra point, up and good. Colts lead 10 to three after the pick six. Needed that one right there. Um, I thought when the Falcons were gonna build a new stadium, it was gonna look similar to Lucas Oil because Lucas Oil is, it's beautiful. If you've ever been, it's beautiful. This is the pick, that's pick all the way. That's pick six, come on now. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful stadium, y'all. It is a beautiful stadium. Absolutely beautiful. All right, now that we've got another pick and I did not get into the end zone, I am starting this drive from my one yard line. See if I can conduct a 99 yard drive here. That's Marlon Mack with a gain of nine there on first down. First and 10, ball at the 12. A wide open is Doyle, first down. That was a great route. It was a great route. Let's go ahead and take this thing down to the two minute warning. Look. I think I got Doyle again. Yep. Hey, this tight end is good, man. You also have to pay attention to the clock here because we are under two minutes to play in the first half. And I did not, or I will not be receiving the second half kickoff. Come on, Matt. That's a good run. That's first down. Let's call our first time out. I am sure they just don't want to uh, allow anything behind the secondary. But let's see if we can get one right here. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that is the worst animation in Madden. That is the worst animation in Madden, man. I don't know where EA saw that in real life and said, yep, let's put that in the game. That, that never happens. And I get sacked. Great. Great. Third and 19. I just got sacked by Kawan Short. Now we're in trouble. Oh, we got our man. We got our man. Pascal. First down. Oh, no, it's not a first down. I think it's shy. But we're definitely in field goal range. Yeah, we're in field goal range. We're going to let this thing run down. We're going to call timeout. We're going to kick a field goal. Snap spot. Kick is away. It is. Good, barely got it in there. 13 to three as we head into halftime. Boy, you ain't the quarterback. 94 yards through the air so far and two takeaways. I like it. Oh, why he just, oh, I think he got a beat. I think he got a beat. He dropped it. Wow, he had a step. He had a step. All right, y'all, it's third and 10. Let's go three and out, let's go. Oh, he's back, the ball's out, the ball is loose, the Colts have it, touchdown Indianapolis! Two defensive TDs. Let's get another stop. Oh, and he's got the first, he's got the first. I know in real life, they would be using Christian McCaffrey a lot more than they have. Like, play action to him is effective, but you got to use him in the passing game as well. Did I just jinx it? Okay, that's not him. Oh, he's still going. Oh, Lord. Colts have yet to stop the Panthers on third down in this drive, obviously. Off pick! Go, 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 go. Let me tell you all a little bit of something. When you got locks... If you got locks in your head and you play football, you are automatically five. That is a rule. It is written in stone. If you got locks and you play football, you are five. And Hooker just came up with an interception right there. I'm going to keep it buck with y'all. I think this is the most disrespectful thing EA could do because I know Teddy Bridgewater is not this bad. Like, come on now. That's mine. Oh, why? Okay, okay. You know what? I think I've, all right. <laughs> oh man, but Philip Philip Rivers is that uh, much of a gambler though. It's third and eight. This down has gone either really well or really bad for Carolina today. And this one goes well, it's a first down. Four progress is gonna give it to him, yep. 
First and 10. Oh, that's pick. Oh, what? I thought I had a pick. Ah, oh, first down, Carolina. Go ahead and put your fours up. Colts lead, 20 to three. Can they hang on? I think they will. They're not from Atlanta. That's a screen. Uh-oh. This is what they should have been doing. Should have been doing that since the first half. Should have been doing that. Fourth and two. I bet you it's a run. It's a run, ain't it? It's a run. It's a run. Yup. Boom. Come here, boy. Sit down. All right, third and four here. I'm going to just run the ball. I'm just trying to run this clock. That's really all I'm doing. And give to him. Oh, I try to force it back inside. I think I'm shy of the first down. You know what I'm going to do, y'all? I'm going to fake this punt. I'm going to fake this punt. I don't even know if this is going to work. But I'm about to fake this punt. Fake punt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we got it. 35-30. 25-20. Put your shoulder down. Let's go. All the way inside the 20. Cut it back inside. Whoop. I'm going to go ahead and score this touchdown then. Don't mind me. Touchdown. That's another pick. You five when you got them locks. I'm trying to tell you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this knee and submit the first unofficial win for Phillip Rivers as the quarterback of the Indianapolis Colts. There you go. For all the boys and girls back in Fishers, Indiana, it's a shout out to y'all. Kenny Moore is our player of the game with two picks. Took one back to the crib. Good game for him. I'm going to tell you something, man. The Colts have a chance to be a pretty decent team this year. I do think that division is tough simply because Tennessee found their stride last year. And then Houston, they're a good team. Now, they did get rid of their best wide receiver. It's kind of questionable. But Deshaun Watson, that quarterback, you have to respect what he does. So uh, the Colts... They have a chance to compete for that division championship, but it will not be easy. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats here. Uh, neither quarterback played well. Teddy B had a 44.6 passer rating. Phillip Rivers had a 46.7. Um, 13 of 21 for Teddy B, 154, 103 yards for Phillip Rivers. No touchdowns thrown by either man. Four picks for Teddy Bridgewater, two picks by Phillip Rivers. Over to the running backs, Marlon Mack had 15 carries for 70 yards. Christian McCaffrey was held to 23 yards on 13 carries. 1.7 yards per carry. That's pretty good for the Colts defense. Um, take a look at the receiving. Yeah, the best receiver had 39 yards. So we're talking about the valve and Doyle. So there you go, Phillip Rivers as the Colts and Teddy Bridgewater as a Panther. That's what it will look like. Maybe, because they, they didn't play very well. In either case, it's your boy Five Wars Deep. One love.